object snap tracking is very useful feature to work faster you can make object snap tracking on and off by clicking on this button here right now it is on if you click on it it will become off if it is off it will be in gray color and here it is showing it object snap tracking off and if you again click on it it will become on and color of it will become blue and here it is showing object snap tracking on and if this button is not shown here you will have to click here on these three lines customization and from here you will have to tick here and for object snap tracking to work properly it is very important that your object snap is on if it is off by clicking on this button you can turn it on right now it is on suppose here i want to create a circle at the center of this shape normally what i do i will create one line and take the midpoint of that line and then i will create the circle but you can locate the center point of this object using object snap tracking at first give the command i want to create circle i will click on circle then this center point will be wherever these two points meet that is the center of this object so take your cursor on this first reference point don't click there just hold for a moment and take it away so it will mark it with the green symbol that means it is marked for object snap tracking then take your cursor to second reference point then take your cursor at the center it will locate the center then click there and give your radius in this way using object snap tracking you can locate a point using two reference point now here the point has been located in straight direction that is horizontal and vertical but if you want to locate the center in inclined direction for example this equilateral triangle will have center point somewhere here that means we will need a tracking in 30 degree angle here and here vertical if you want to track point in inclined angle then for that you will have to click here on polar tracking and click on this track setting then here you will have to give the increment angle for tracking now here it is a equilateral triangle this angle is 60 i want to track in 30 degree therefore here i will give increment angle of 30 then you will have to click here track using all polar angle setting so that it will track using all the increment angle settings then click on okay then again suppose here i want to create a circle give the circle command then take your cursor on the first reference point then take your cursor on the second reference point and go at the center so it has located the center point and here it has tracked using polar tracking angle then click there and give the second point for the radius in this way you can track in angles also then one more use of object snap tracking is to create orthographic views suppose if we take the example of this object once we create the top view then while creating front view we will have to project these lines we will just try to create this drawing now the length of this line is 150 therefore we will take the limit of 200 comma 200 start new drawing click on start drawing and give the limits enter lower left corner 0 comma 0 enter upper right corner 200 comma 200 enter then give zoom all z enter a enter then here this line is of 150 and this vertical line is of 70 here the dimension is not given but this line is of 70 height take the line command give the first point make ortho on give the direction give the length of 150 enter then give vertical direction height is 70 enter now this line is of the same length of this horizontal line so you can take your cursor to this end point and take your cursor down it will track the point click there and again click the start point enter now here it is at 30 30 distance and there are two circles at the center of 20 and 25 radius we'll offset it offset give the distance of 30 enter select this line click inside again this line click inside and press enter 
then two circles are needed at the center for that again click on circle to locate the center point take your cursor on the midpoint of the horizontal line then take your cursor on the midpoint of the vertical line and take your cursor at the center then give the radius 20 enter again enter for circle then give the center point give the radius 25 now top view is ready to shift this xy symbol give the ucs icon command enter click on no origin now we want to create front view using this top view for that again give the line command then take your cursor at the end point of this line and take your cursor down don't click there it will track it click there and length of this line is again same as this line take your cursor on this line and take it take the cursor down click there then the height is 30 and 20 give the height of 30 enter then again this length of this line is same as this line take your cursor there and take it down and click there again height is 20 enter again track this point again track this point again track this point click enter now internal projection is created by projecting these two circles now here the depth is 10 and it is created by projecting these circles Give the line command, take your cursor to the quadrant point, take the cursor down, click there, take your cursor below and give the height of 10, enter. Then this length is again tracked from this quadrant point, take your cursor down, click there. Then here there are two possibilities, if now I click here, it will connect to this end point, but I don't want to connect to this end point. So take your cursor to this end point and Came back to your original position and click there. It will track that endpoint and it will create this vertical line. Then press enter. Then again enter. Track this internal circle. Take your cursor down. Click there. Again take your cursor to midpoint. To track the midpoint. Come back to your original position. Click there. Enter. Again enter. Take your cursor to the quadrant. Take the intersection point. Here you can track the midpoint or you can also shift right click and click on this perpendicular and click on this horizontal line and press enter. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.